Mrs. Fewers, with more than half of the world's population already living in urban areas, and that percentage expected to rise to about 75% by 2050, it's clear that the path to sustainable development must pass through cities. But exactly how cities should organize themselves to advance green and healthy growth for all and improve the day-to-day -day lives of residents remains open to debate. This is MNC Business. We are the first business channel in Indonesia. You are on Economic Bus. As we know, cities are growth escalators, but smart cities are more than that. The concept of smart, sustainable cities make urbanization more inclusive, bringing together formal and informal sectors, connecting urban cores with peripheries, delivering services for the rich and the poor alike, and integrating the migrants and the poor into the city. Now, promoting the design concept of smart and sustainable cities is about rethinking cities as inclusive, integrated, and livable. We have the report for you. And to have a deeper view about eco-architecture for sustainable city concept, we have Professor Jason Pomeroy. He is the founding principal at Pomeroy Studio and keynote speakers at the forthcoming New City Summit, Jakarta. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And there, right away, on the way to MNC Studio, traffic in Jakarta really put you into trouble zone. <laughs> Welcome to Jakarta. That's <laughs> the real you. face of Jakarta. Sometimes people wonder about this Professor Pomeroy, really, like uh, how livable when you talk about Jakarta, even as the capital city of Indonesia, how representative Jakarta can provide this kind of good environment for the inhabitants. Before we discuss that in more detail, I would like to get your global perspective first because you're also focusing a lot and paying more attention into ASEAN as yes. a region. Urbanization issue. How do you comment when you talk about the urbanization issue, especially in Indonesia as the part of ASEAN? Okay, well, I mean, it's a very, very good question. What we need to first of all bear in mind is that uh, cities globally have been growing at an incredible rate. Half the world's population have been living in city centers from 2007. By 2050, that's going to increase by 75% living yeah, in that's city really big centers. That's big person, 75%. It's, it's remarkable. And what we often see, that the uh, the developing or the, the developed cities and the developed economies had their moments. That during the 19th century industrialization, they uh, had all of the benefits of economic prosperity. Mm. But now, I would argue that the 21st century is Asian century. And what we're seeing is a lot of the Asian cities, you know, Manila, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, are suddenly finding their voice. So it's almost like these these dormant dinosaur suddenly right. waking up and what we see is that there is this uh, incredible drive to actually just move into city centers because the assumption a very very commonly founded idea is that well you go to the city for economic prosperity right just like all of those people would sort of in the 19th century go to New York because it was the kind of the land of opportunity we're seeing exactly the same um, thing in Jakarta in Manila in Kuala Lumpur but this has a huge cataclysmic effect on the infrastructure of the city. If all of a sudden you're rubbing shoulders with so many more people, there is just no space to breathe. Then obviously you've got the chock-a-block elements of the streets full of traffic. You've got more noxious pollutants. You've got increasing urban temperature. You're seeing spaces vanish where once upon a time you and I could go and grab a coffee, they're going to be developed upon because the city is urbanizing to keep um, in line with all of the people. So what we find in Jakarta as a prime example is that cities are growing at such an incredible rate to just withstand the sheer pressure of people thinking, seeking economic prosperity, moving into the city. And with that urbanization, with more buildings being created, we're seeing temperatures increase, open spaces vanishing, greenery vanishing, more cars on the road. All of these pressures means that you need to be designing in a more sustainable way. I see. Using your expertise as well, when we talk about uh, the major urban cities in ASEAN, of course, everyone knows that urbanization should be followed with the great concept or ideal concept of city planning. Yes. Where are we? Where is our position? Later on, we need to focus yeah. more on Indonesia. Okay. But ASEAN, 
how well this urbanization flow, sometimes over urbanization flow, been automatically followed by a good ideal city planning. It's incredibly sporadic. It's incredibly hit and miss. What we need to bear in mind is that many of these um, cities have been through an element of colonization. We have the British coming in, we had the Dutch coming in, we had the Portuguese, we had the Spanish, all sort of bringing their element of what I would argue is economic exploitation during the during the colonial past, times during right. the colonial times they managed to harvest all of the wonderful sort of uh, the minerals the resources uh, the spices and basically bring them back to their homelands well thank you very much you know that that was done and dusted mm. they lay they, they put down a, a legacy a planning legacy a colonial planning legacy more often than not there would be fine courts and squares the streets the boulevards they set out various planning policies, but when they fall out, what happens? Okay, let's hold this for the legislation. Very great start, strong point that you said. Anyway, apart from this kind of colonization value and mission, they at least already laid down this kind of basic foundation in terms of right. creating this kind of city planning and development sure. as well. But then the question is, how are we able in terms of developing this kind of quote-unquote legacy? After this one, Professor. Make sure you are sleeping with us on Economic Bus. We are discussing about eco-architecture for sustainable city concepts.